In this example, I want to add a related product image from a non-related table. In a previous video, I created a new document layout so I could add an additional field, which was quantity to invoice. But in this example, I need to add an additional table. So if I add an additional table, and I know that the picture is actually contained in the item table of 27. Now, once I've created my relationship, I need to do some filtering because of course I don't want to bring back all of the related table information on the item table. So in this case, I want to start filtering on item one, which is the item number, and associate that to the related table of item six, which again is the item number. So I've created my direct relationship there. Once I've done that, then I can add the particular field that I want to add. And of course, in this case, it's the item um, picture. Now, I actually don't know where this item picture is stored, so I can actually search for it using LazyNet. And here we can see it's item number 92. So again, from an administration perspective, that's all set up. All I need to do now is execute a sales order confirmation so I can contain that picture in the XML stream and then I'll go back into the LazyNet developer where I can actually add that picture on our completed form. So that's ready to go. Let's go back into the LazyNet developer, open up our sales order confirmation. And then I just need to download the latest grab file, which is gonna contain my base64 string, which I can then add. And here you can see the XML coming through contains my picture encoded into a base64. So we're actually minimizing the file sizes of transmission between Business Central and the LazyNet server. So if I just select the relevant item there, I can pick up my base64 string. And here you can see now I've got the picture which I can drag onto my completed form. Once again, I just need to save this template, close it down, and send a patch to the LazyNet server, which is going to include my updated sales order. Back into Business Central, and let's just re-execute that report. Select Screen Preview. And then you can see here I've completed the process, which is going to include my picture for my item into the completed design.